Hey, this is Brock from On Deck Landscaping. I wanted to take a minute and show you my 2020 land lawn care setup. Um, to start with, I pull it with a 2019 Ram 1500 Limited. I'm not going to talk a whole lot about the truck other than to say it's got almost 12,000 pounds of tow capacity and air shocks, which allows me to raise and lower the truck to hook up the trailer rather than um, always lift in the trailer with the jack handle and the trailer is from heartland i just got it for two thousand dollars it's a 16 foot dual axle with a two foot dovetail um, all of my side supports have these cutouts right here for hooking your tie downs i've got this here led there for um so it's got a lot of places to tie down i got all of my racks and um, tie downs from Ballard Inc. So I've got a tool rack here with a shovel, two rakes, a broom, and the uh, pole saw and edger for my combi system. These are the only valuable things that are not at this time locked up. These and the, uh, the push mowers are also not locked down yet. So I went with the sure cage and the sure cans. So this is my weed eater mix. Um, you can pull this lock here and lift it out, but normally I don't do that. To fill the weed eater, you just take the cap off, point that down, hold the weed eater under it, and push this lever down so that I'm not picking up and carrying the cans all the time. I think those are really handy. Okay, then the, the mower in the front here is just a John Deere D105 regular um, lawn mower. Um, I keep it because I've got a bagger on it. So when I'm sometimes after I mow with my other mower, if it's got a lot of clippings, I'll go back over it and bag them. Um, you can see right here, I've got the power locker that, um, if you haven't seen those before, there's a pin up here that you pull, pull that pin out. You drive right out and this part flips back and you drive back in, the pin clicks back in and it's locked in. You're able to put a padlock down next to that little pull handle. Then I've got a Husqvarna walk behind weed eater with this heavy line on it here. This thing runs great, cuts great. I don't think it's quite as handy as I thought it would be whenever I got it because it's hard to, um, with the angle of the way you're pushing it it's kind of hard to get it like running down a fence line or something but if you've got big stuff that needs to knock down it works great for that then i've got the sure cage for the five gallon regular mower gas um, all my padlocks are keyed the same i've got this steel bg 56c and and that's locked in a cage um i thought i was ordering the the same kind of cage I have on my chainsaw over there for this one, but I ordered the older locking style with the bar and the padlock. Works just fine. It's a little bit cheaper, so. Then I've got the uh, John Deere Z445. It's in the power locker again. I've got a separate video on the power lockers. All right here's where the padlock goes for that. I added the advanced chute system to my mower so I can mulch, discharge, very easily switch between them. Um, so I got this this used John Deere mower for uh, $2,400 with 120 hours on it. The other mower I bought brand new, I think it was $1,300 and it's now got about 180 hours on it. So they're both under $200. Okay, then I've got this three trimmer rack from um, Ballard again, which these are all green touch racks. I've watched a lot of videos on the green touch racks and I never could understand from the video exactly how the locking system works. So I'll show it on here. Right now they're locked. You can't take the trimmer out. You can't turn this, okay? Now put the key in it, unlock it. That lock pops out. All three of these are now unlocked and can come out. But to take them out, you pull, you turn this like this, pull out. Now this end's free and that end just slides out like that. So when you're done, you come up here, 
slide it in like that line this up turn now we're we're locked in now if i'm done with all my weed eaters and they're all pushed in push the lock in it really couldn't be any more simpler to have one lock for all your weed eaters it works great i've got um all of my both of my weed eaters are the steel 91 r's and I've, like i said i got the hedge trimmer pole saw edger two weed eater heads then i keep extra weed eater heads in my toolbox over there so i don't not reloading line when i'm out okay this is a short gate because of the dovetail which makes it light and easy to lift i've got two of these for removing leaves and sticks and debris and stuff this is the same locking system on my toolbox it's already unlocked just pull the handle down and pop it up i've got all my extra line tools this is um like a brush cutting attachment for the weed eater heads is pretty cool i've got a socket set down there this is hand tools like screwdrivers pliers crescent wrench line for my walk behind this is uh, lube, lube for the uh, hedge trimmer gloves for the chainsaw some regular gloves dewalt air compressor this air compressor is really nice because it's it's digital you turn the dial set it to the pressure you want and just hit the button and it shuts off when it when it gets inflated that's really handy it can run off of a dewalt battery or off of a dc or ac power so i never have to worry about getting to the job and realizing i had a low tire so turn that down pop that in and we're locked Okay, so I've got a Walmart push mower. It's Murray 21 inch um, with the bagger on it. It's like a $280 new mower. And then I've got this Honda GVC 190. See, there's the model number. HRX 217 K5VKAA. What? I thought that I was getting the one where this handle right here when you released it it stopped the blades but not the mower that's not the case um, i thought i was getting a hundred dollars cheaper for the same mower but it turns out i was just buying it without that feature it's a really nice push mower though i'll tell you it's heavy but it's got some cool features like the this right now we're on mulch and we're on half mulch you can bring it over to bag so on half mulch is a nice feature to not fill your bag so quickly um, when you need to mulch when your grass is a little tall so then here's the speed control you crank it all the way up you can't keep up with it and it'll power up huge hills so i keep it about halfway um, the only negative thing on this mower is that you have to adjust all four wheels separately on the height okay and I've got a chainsaw box it's from Ballard Inc. and Green Touch Rack again. What I found is since this is like a universal tool rack that can have a blower or different things in it, it's oversized for my chainsaw, which is a 250, MS 250 chainsaw with an 18 inch bar. So I put this on, I'm like, man, that's gonna slide all over and beat my chainsaw up. But I found that if I put the bar in chain oil right there, it holds it still. Put that in, lock it down. Okay, then I've got a backpack sprayer for weed killer or whatever you're doing. It's got a pump handle on the side. And I've got the Still BR800C backpack blower. That thing is impressive, the amount of air it'll put out. Um, the reason I chose this model, which I went with all steel products and John Deere products, they're sold and serviced by the same dealer that I really like working with. So that way I've got all my service done in one location if I need it. This works the same way. Now we're 
were locked okay the reason i chose this model was it's got a side start so if you are blowing and you stop and talk to someone you don't have to take the backpack off to start it again you just use the side start um so yeah there's there's the setup in my first year uh doing lawn care which i've did a lot of mowing before but um this is the first year professionally and i feel like i've got a pretty functional setup where i can accomplish a lot with the size of trailer i have so one thing about these wheel locks if you're using multiple mowers is i offset them where um, the one in the front is on the far right side when you're standing behind the trailer and this one's on the left so i can drive this one on without that one being in the way and then if you're loading something larger like i'm looking at getting a compact tractor um, you can remove this entire thing by pulling this pin right here and then sliding the whole uh, power locker out so the only things left on the trailer is this and this and then if you need to use your trailer from helping someone move or like I said, getting a, a tractor or something on it, you've got that option too. The only thing I don't like about the green touch racks, and it's something I should be able to fix, is that they're kind of shaky, especially um, like that, which it, there's a middle set of holes I could have mounted on and I mounted on the back holes so it wasn't sticking out too far. But, um, they use a carriage bolt and I wish I would have hung on to one but the carriage bolt is square and this has a square hole in it like this right there I don't know if you can see it but so the carriage bolt locks into that square hole and you tighten the nut down below it the problem with that is the the square part on the bolt is taller than the square part on this so your square on the carriage bolt hits on this and it doesn't lock all the way down so basically i feel like all these racks need another bar under them so they can tighten down against that bar before the square on the bolt hits hits the frame of the trailer so all right that's my lawn care setup 2020 if you like this type of video you can like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.